President of the Senate, Ahmad Lawa, has expressed concern over the abduction of school students. Senator Lawa noted that the unsavory incident was peculiar to schools located in the northern part of the country and could discourage parents from allowing their children to acquire Western education. The Senate President's remarks was sequel to a motion brought by Senator, Senator representing Niger East, Senator Mohammed Sani Musa, over early morning abduction of students of Government Science Secondary School, Kagara, in Niger State. Senator Musa, who rose under Order 42 and 52, stated that an unspecified number of school students with their teachers have been abducted. In his motion, abduction of students and teachers of Government Science School, Kagara, need for urgent action. The Senate representing Niger is noted with sadness and great concern the recent terrorist attack and abduction of students at Government Science School, Kagara, Niger State, by gunmen in the early hour of Wednesday. He further disclosed that the bandits were dressed in military uniforms when they attacked the boarding school overpower the security guards before whisking away the students and killing some which numbers were not to be confirmed. Senator Musa submitted that aware that Section 14 to be of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended stipulates that the welfare and security of citizens shall be the primary responsibility of government. This government at all levels owe the people the duty to provide adequate security. Aware that the recent attack and abduction of school children at Government Science School, Kagara, Niger State is coming on the heels of yet to be resolved Kankara abduction of 300 students which took place at Government Science School, Kankara, Castina State, Chibo guests in 2014, an abduction of about 100 school guests at Government Guest Science and Technical School, Dabchi, Yobe State, in 2018, and concern that, like the other incidents of school children abduction that took place in Chibo and Dabchi several years back, if no immediate action is taken to rescue Kagara school students, their fate may be sealed in the hands of terrorists. Contributing to the motion, Senator representing Niger South Senatorial District, Bama Enagi, said no senatorial district in Niger State was safe from the menace of banditry and kidnapping. He maintained that the National Assembly has continued to give in all necessary support to the executive arm, but expressed regret that the present administration has lost the initiative to counter the scary security situation across the country. He said, I am sorry to say this, the government is grossly incompetent in the handling of security challenges in this country. He said, in my own zone, a few days ago, terrorists went to two local governments, but fortunately, my people were able to repel and kill nine of them. And in short, everybody that is here has a story to tell about security challenges in this country. What else are we supposed to do that we are not doing? Are we supposed to amend laws in this country to give every citizen the opportunity to carry arms? What else are we supposed to do? Are we going to amend Nigeria constitution to give more powers to the governors who are the chief security officers of their various states because our government at the center is so incompetent in the handling of security issues. Imagine if it is one of us that his or her daughter and son were kidnapped. I expect everyone in government to think like that. For over two years, our police and other security agents have been trying um, for over two years with discussed security challenges that we are facing, yet nothing has improved. We have a lot of youth who are undergraduates and that are not employed or underemployed. What are we doing? The government is busy distributing palliative instead of creating economic activities that we engage the unemployed, that we generate employment, that we improve the welfare of our people. Mr. President, my highly respected distinguished colleagues, the situation in this country is disheartening and something needs to be done. The Senate in its resolutions condemned in very strong terms an attack on very strong terms, the attack on Government Science School, Kagara, Niger State, and Arch President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, President Muhammadu Bari, GCFR, 
so as a matter of urgency to declare a state of emergency on insecurity in Nigeria. It equally urged President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, President Muhammadu Buhari, to consider and implement the recommendations of the Senate Ad Hoc Committee on Nigeria Security Challenges dated March 17, 2020 and Senate resolutions therefrom as a holistic response to the mounting security challenges across the country. The President of the Senate, in his remarks, raised the alarm that the growing occurrence of abduction of students and teachers could worsen the presence on, on encouraging enrollment of children in the north for western education he said i believe that there is need for something new a different initiative on especially how to protect our schools and let me be a little bit clear about the incident of abduction students from schools almost all the incidents of abducting students from schools happen in northern Nigeria and we all know how much efforts our leaders of yesterday probably right from independence worked so hard to ensure that children go to school in the northern parts of Nigeria. With incidents like this we will be reversing all the gains that were made in co convincing parents and was to take their children to school. So there's need for our country, our security agencies and governments to encourage and ensure that we come up with a strategy of ensuring security in schools because with this spate of kidnapping or adoption definitely there will be that there will be that negative adverse effect on the adverse on the desire and willingness of parents to allow their children to go to schools and the consequences of not going to school are better imagined in 21st century nigeria or 21st century world so the service chiefs designate have their work and take clearly cut from them. Part of what we are supposed to carry on board is how to secure our schools in addition to so many other challenges that they have to deal with. I believe that the states have to be carried along because the schools belong to the state. So that partnership and cooperation between the security agencies and the state must be adhered to so that the state cooperate cooperate fully with security agencies of government what's that with that the whole country will be praying and waiting for abducting children to be returned back to their parents secured and well hmm. so guys are uh, you've heard them again <laughs> they have come again I, I asked me when this thing happened um the kankara boys that were kidnapped at that time these are the same rhetorics the same thing over and over again they'll continue to say the same thing uh -huh. it will happen to you tomorrow again oh we are we condemn it oh we do this and that it will happen over and over i will never forget the statement made by aisha buari when she was you know that time she was always speaking and she was pained that if anything is not being done about the security that was two years ago it gone to three years now that was two years ago when she made mention of that thing and at the end and i remember every day every day every day it's been happening you see these people will still come together ah, so one of them will say oh uh we should just put it as if oh if it were to be our children our daughter and our son that will be kidnapped of course your children and daughters will not be kidnapped because they are well secured now nah. they will not and there's no way you are going to feel it you can't feel it the senate president is saying oh why is this whole thing happening in the north you ask yourself the question why is it every, every now and then it's happening it's not happening so they are you guys are used to it and you want to that's why if us, such such a thing is happening in the other part of the country you don't even care you don't even bother because you believe that it is happening in your side so what's the big deal about it of course it, a lot of you have come out and with the the way you are always defending evil defending what is not it shows and some of you have come out to even say it to confirm all that you have been saying so it is happening in the north and it will not happen in the south because they are uh, the cultures are different and the way southern and state things are very 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 different so that is it tomorrow again another thing will happen they will come and tell us diff different stories the same story all the time where well, here the senate president does he want the kidnapping of students to extend to the south what a careless statement i just wonder is it not the northern politicians that used to bring in fighters from neighboring countries to help them fight their fellow nigerian citizens so that they could win elections and after the election, these people from Chad, Niger, 
refuse to go back to their countries because they enjoy how our politicians were using and paying them handsomely. So you want the madness extended to the south, arranging kidnapping. That is the business in the north. Politicians are responsible. Robert Stamp Senate President reasoning like how. Yes, that shows where the trouble in Nigeria lies. South are serious with other things, not kidnapping and banditry. President Jonathan in 2015 said that the barriers, uh, the Buhari's brain don't die, pata pata, but Una no one here because Una born to rule mentality don't blow Una high. Stu, do you want it to take place in East or West? Uh, those are valid questions. So guys, let's hear your opinion concerning what the Senate President has said.